Hey everyone and welcome to the channel. So today we get to take a look at the 2024 BMW 740i. This one's finished off in oxide gray metallic and the MSRP is just over $111,000. We have around eight grand worth of options for this particular seven series. So we have a lot of awesome features to go over for this very luxury focused sedan. So we'll start off with what this is powered by. Underneath the hood, this is the three liter twin power turbo inline six. It's paired to a 48 volt hybrid system along with the eight speed automatic, pumping out 375 horsepower, 383 pound feet of torque, sent to those rear wheels, propelling this 4,700 pound sedan from zero to 60 in five seconds. It has a top speed of 130 miles an hour. Now, as we work our way to the exterior styling, one of those packages provides the entire surround for this kidney grill with the illuminating light. I think that's a really nice accent. There's a forward facing camera sensor for the adaptive cruise, and there's also active grill shutters, both in that upper and lower grill to provide additional cooling when needed. Now this also has a split design with the headlights and high beams in the lower section, DRLs and turn signals in the upper section. And I think there's just the right amount of gloss black with the body colored work to give it a great looking front end. And then there's two lines coming down the middle of the hood just to finish it off. Now this also has a really nice set of two tone wheels with the M Sport brakes, which are finished off in gloss black. There's more gloss black for the entire lower side skirt. And then for the power folding side mirrors, there's a camera as well as a turn signal, full moonroof for this model, and then more gloss black surrounding the window trim as well as the door handles too. And then as we work our way to the back, there's a small gloss black spoiler, backup camera with the dark housing for those LED taillights. There's parking sensors, more gloss black down below. You can even remote start this BMW as well. And you can use the key fob or this button to open up the power trunk. Now the back seats in the seven series do not fold down, but you still have an adequate amount of space. There is a cutout there if you need to gain access, but we have some battery components. We have a little bit of storage and you have a lot of space overall for any items. Now you can close the power trunk. You can also lock the entire vehicle with that button on the right side. Now there's actually two different ways that you can enter all of these doors. There is the electronic button underneath. So just squeeze your hand here. You can push on that button or you can push on that button there and you can have the door opened for you. So if you have some items, you wanna open up the door, grab them, then you can hop in. Makes it very easy to do. There's also this pad on the door panel itself where you can get into your heated seats. You can even adjust some climates. You can go into your lighting. You can control both back seats to go through their memory seating. You have your display, phone, even the audio too. A Little bit of storage underneath that and a really cool design for that back section. And then this is like sitting on a couch. It is so comfy back here, plenty of leg room. You can attach tablets and hook them up. You have climates, a little bit of storage. You have more storage in the middle along with your cup holders and some auxiliaries. And then I have plenty of headroom. Alcantara headliner, full moon roof. This is really where you wanna be driven around in the back. And then we can easily close this. And then it's the same deal with the front door panel. So you can just push on that and have that door open up. Now we have the same interior along with crystal. It's even on the controls for the seats. There's all the window adjustments. Here is your manual release. So if the electronic releases don't work for whatever reason, it's hidden down below so you can grab that. And then very easy to get in. Now there's also two different ways that you can shut this door. You can push on this automatic button here or just put your foot on the brake pedal and you are ready to go. We're greeted with a solid black steering wheel with paddle shifters on both sides. Let's fire this up where we have that crystal button, but we also have cruise control settings. You have shortcuts to your volume, music, Bluetooth and voice commands. And then you can also go through some info within the gauge cluster screen. So you can go through all of this content just depending on what you would like to see. And you can even adjust the layout. So you can scroll through these as needed, just depending on how large you want the content to be. You can also go to the head up display and monitor that as needed and go through a few different settings. Now on this left side, there's also some fan adjustments along with your headlight controls. We have leather on the entire dash. 
And then the infotainment system is very easy to go through. We have a ton of apps and icons that you can scroll through. There's your home screen where we have the split style. And then you also have your climate adjustments. You can get into your heated and ventilated seats along with your heated steering wheel. Get into your music as well as the nav there. So very easy to go through that. Wood trim underneath that. There's more air vent controls as well as adjustments. And then there's a little bit of storage with two cup holders which have ambient lighting and you can hide them away if you don't need to use them. Now there's also shortcuts to further go through this system with the rotary dial which is finished off in crystal. There's volume and tuning. You even have my modes. So you can actually adjust the coloring that you would like to see in the vehicle based on the driving mode and it will even adjust some of the sunshades depending on the mode that you would like. Now this also has an adaptable suspension so you can raise the vehicle. There's a shortcut to the camera system as well. And if we put this into reverse, that is how you can pull up the 360 view. So you can go through all of these settings just depending on the visibility that you need. There's drive, the sport mode for the manual setting as well as park and auto hold is just behind that. There's also a split style to the armrest. So you have plenty of space there and you push on this button here and that will open up the glove box. And then this is a look at visibility from the driver's seat. It's a big vehicle, but the windows are also very big too. So that gives you plenty of visibility over both sides. And with it still in sport mode, second gear, here we go. And hopefully you can tell just how quiet this is, as well as how it's absorbing these bumps that I've been going over. It's really, you can feel them, but it's not abrupt. It's very, very soft and forgiving for these bumps for this particular road. But this is what it's like to be behind the wheel for the all new 7 Series. And it's what you would expect. You're spending this kind of money for the more luxury focused sedan. This is the ride and feel that you want from it. It is so quiet. We have a lot of traffic currently passing at highway speeds. And even that truck that just passed, you can't hear anything. You are just away from the outside world when you hop behind the wheel. So if you're doing a lot of commuting and you want something that's very quiet and it's going to be comfortable to get you from point A to point B, this is the model to go with or the 760 if you want some more power. But it's very nice. You have a lot of room in the back seats as well. So that's really where you wanna be if you can have someone drive you around. But even as a driver, you have all the creature comforts right at your fingertips here. But that's going to wrap it up for the 2024 BMW 740i. Once again, a huge shout out to Hendrick BMW Northlake for providing this luxury focused sedan for me today definitely take a look at their website. That link is down in the description. And if you enjoyed today's video, give it a huge thumbs up. Consider smashing that subscribe button so you don't miss out on our daily uploads. And I will see you all in the next video.